What's up, YouTube? This is Ray from Philly on Thursday night, September 29th. And it's a big time mail package day. I already cracked it open a little bit. And it's from a website called Serious Sports Card Auctions. All right, I'm really psyched about this purchase. This was a pretty big purchase. It's going for the PSA 300 greatest cards of the 20th century. And here's a card they put in there for Serious Sports Auctions. It's just some more stuff they put in here. I don't know what this, this junk is here. Cards to auction. Consign your PSA graded cards to auction. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll read that later. First one in here. Oh, man. A 51 Bowman early win card and a PSA 5. Excellent condition. I love the 51 Bowman set. I mean, the colors on, on that set is just remarkable. I love it. I mean, yeah, it's a slightly off-center card, but it is a 5, which is a pretty high grade. Great card. Awesome card. And uh, let me just try and see what's the reason for why that card was in here real quick in the um, 300 Greatest Cards book. Let's see what they got to say about why that's in here. The 51 early win. I'm not sure if it's a rookie card. It says... Um, and over here, the 51 Bowman early win. It's been said about early win that he would have thrown at his grandmother if she crowded the plate on him. Here, the 300 game winner and Hall of Famer appears to be lining up for just such a buzz pitch for grandma. <laughs> so, whatever. Interesting. But that's the first card. I picked up four on this auction. This next one is. A 51 Bowman Joe Garagiola and a PSA 5.5. The centering on this is really nice. I'm all about more centering than sharp corners. If I had a choice, I like the centering. I mean, I just love 51 Bowman set. The colors are just remarkable. They look great. Let's open up and see what's the third. <laughs> A 60, so first let me, i sorry, I didn't even read the uh, it's the thing for Garagiola, but let's go to, to Maris here. 66 tops Roger Maris and a PSA 7. My first, re, my first ever Roger Maris card. Centering on this is really good too. Corners look nice, no creases on it for a PSA 7 near mint. And I got this at a pretty good price too. Not bad. So let's uh, let's read about the Graziola. He's got a little bit of a longer story here. Um, and the Graziola. Sometimes a player's talent doesn't really emerge until after he retires. Take Charlie Lau, for example, a 255 lifetime hitter before becoming George Brett's batting guru, or Sparky Anderson, who didn't hit a home run and batted just 218 in his only big league season. But who as a manager led major league clubs to world championships in both leagues. Then there's Joe Garagiola. Joe was an average ball player, but a star personality. Joe looked and acted like everyone's favorite uncle, and that played well during his broadcasting career when he was on the air for NBC's Baseball Game of the Week. Um, during the 1970s and 80s, he also hosted game shows, hosted to Today's Show, and even did some television commercials for Gerald Ford during the 76 campaign. For some guys, all it takes is retirement. So that's the reason why Joe's in there. And let's move ahead quickly here to the 66 Maris. All right. Uh, the 66 Maris, as you can see, he's right there. Just page back a little bit here. So it says... Uh, the 66 Tops Maris, this is the last Yankee card of the player who provided the New York club with two straight MVP seasons 
and a single-season home run mark that stood 37 years before being broken by both Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. That 37-year span represented the longest period of any time of time any player has ever held a single-season home run mark. A blank-backed proof of a 1967 Topps Marist card listing. Uh, as a member of the Yankees surfaced with release of the 67 cards, but it's not a regular card. This is the last of the true pinstripes issue for Maris. So it's saying it's because it's his last Yankee card. So that's that's really nice. Because I think in 67, 68, he's, he's with the Cardinals in there. So I got one more card left. And from the box, Bam! A 1968 Topps Johnny Bench rookie and a PSA 5. Excellent condition. Greatest catcher of all time, in my opinion. Piazza was the best home the best hitting catcher. And you know, Pud Rodriguez was a great defensive catcher. Bench was a great defensive catcher, but Bench was both. Both great defensive catcher and offensive catcher. This is a legendary card, so I'm stoked to have this. Um, and uh, I got to read. I got to, I feel like I'm a, a book, storybook or teller here reading these stories about players. But I'm curious, uh, I, you know, I'm just following the list here, so... Try and make this quick and keep it on there for a certain time. Why this is in here. Very few players throughout history can lay claim to having revolutionized the game. Johnny Bench can. Johnny Bench changed the way catchers played the position, and his contributions are still being felt today, including catchers catching with their right arm tucked behind their back. Bench's arm was legendary, and he could gun a would be base stealer out at second base without ever leaving his crouch. Bench brought defense to the forefront for catchers, and he combined that with poise and power at the plate as well. It certainly wasn't a stretch for Tops to include the confident-looking young catcher on a rookie star's card. And Bench proved Tops wise by winning the 68 National League Rookie of the Year award. Greatest catcher of all time, without a doubt, Mr. Johnny Bench. So there you have it. A huge purchase today. I am so stoked. For these four big behemoth cards. I love it. Again, you got the 51 Bowman early win and a PSA 5. A 51 Bowman Joe Garagiola and a PSA 5.5. A 66 Tops Roger Maris and a Nearman 7. And this PSA 5 1968 Tops Johnny Bench rookie card. So. There you have it, guys. I'm really happy about this. This is going in my... All four of these cards are for the 300 greatest cards of the 20th Century Collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to be staring at the, the 251 Bowman's. That, this now has become my favorite set, without a doubt, is the 51 Bowman set. Love it. They look freaking beautiful. But there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate your comments. Um, more stuff coming in. In the next couple days. Uh, appreciate your comments and uh, talk to you guys soon, man. Talk to you later. Bye.